Hello everyone, and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, Mono White Control. So, of course, everybody hates Dustmorn Standard. It's full of red and flingy decks. And so I kind of, kind of went ahead and I didn't really craft this deck uh, or made this deck myself. There was a lot of net decking going on and I just kind of tuned a bunch of net decks I found together and made this version. This is the version that I did make by jumbling up a bunch of white cards together, which I do think a lot of people may disagree with the cards in this deck. But it is the one that I will use to fight this stupid, stupid mono red aggro standard. So what are we going to do? Early game, we got four lay down arms to remove, uh, you know, creatures uh, with death triggers. So they got death triggers, it's gone. They don't get it. Uh, they, don't, they don't get to pump anything. They gain three life. If they let that life, they can have it. Then turn two, we got four carrot cake to make our little bunnies and also gain life for us. Uh, and then we have uh, four get lost to remove our opponent's creatures. And then two really impactful card, Imparting Gust. I think this is an amazing card because it's two mana to exile a creature and uh, return it to the battlefield. But we, if we give them a tap fish, their creature is just gone, just exiled. It doesn't come back, it doesn't do anything. So it's a two mana exile target creature. That's really good. Uh, all right, so that is our one and two drop. Going to the three drop, we have four Caretaker's Talon. This card will draw us our entire deck. And also, the level three gives our creature tokens, which is a whole token deck, plus two, plus two, and we can turn on a dime and just beat down our opponent. I have one Loren. I always like to put Loren in my decks because it kills artifact enchantments uh, while putting a creature on board. It's a huge tempo swing in standard. Uh, so I cut one Sanguine Evangelist. Some decks run four. I only run three because I want to slot in one Loren. I also have th uh, two Enduring Innocence. Enduring Innocence is pretty good at ca drawing cards just like Caretaker's Talon. So it's kind of like having Caretaker Talon number five and number six. If I can have more Caretaker's Talon, I would not run Enduring, Endur Enduring Innocence at all. I'll just have more Caretaker's Talon, but of course the card limit is four, so there's two of this in the deck. And then the four drop, we have two Archangel Elspeth. I, I cut it down to two uh, for Archangel. I used to run four, and before that I used to run four Wandering Emperor. Of course that's rotated out, so Archangel is pretty good at finishing games. Just sticking one on board means that we can get soldiers that life links, gain us life. We can also uh, change a creature into uh, an angel, give it plus two, plus two, and flying so that it starts attacking real hard. But not only do we have Elspeth, we have four Beza. Uh, Beza the Bounding Spring is basically every single value pack into one. And he is real good as just a 4 5 beater. Four mana, 4 5. Is Shieldred stats and everybody hates Shieldred, so Baze is probably just as good, if not better, in a lot of scenarios. Because see, he comes in and immediately gains us four life against red, that is very relevant. And then we have one Sarah Paragon, there's a lot of three mana, three CMC or lower cards in the deck. So, uh, Sarah Paragon basically recurs the entire deck, all the permanents can come back, that's pretty useful. And of course, we have four Sunfalls to get rid of white boards, no more farewell, but Sunfall will have to do. And then we go to the land base. We are a very heavy control deck, so 25 lands. Uh, we have 15 planks, 3 demolition fields, 4 fountain ports, 3 sunken citadel. I had to cut down the Mirix, cut down one. Uh, I think I took out one demolition field and one sunken citadel because, well, you know, we need some planks for lay down arms. So that's the whole idea. Now, I think on uh, a lot of the uh, meta, they actually have uh, the red Y. I, I forgot what it's called. Parlor, so elegant parlor, right? I see a lot of decks run elegant parlor in their in their main board. I think it is because they want to slot in forge. I don't want to have forge in this deck. Not that it's a bad card. I just don't want to have forge in this deck because I am adamant on not running the forge combo uh, for this mono white, and I want to see how it works. So instead of uh, having four uh, or instead of having 15 planks you can cut it down to 12 planks and one second citadel cut the enduring innocence and put in a forge and see how that works if you really want to forge in your deck otherwise this is my mono white deck i want to see how mono white fight in the current meta and i will never get mana screwed because i have well i'll never get color school screwed because i have exactly one color in this deck now that's all i got let's go into the games all right our opponent is humble diligent Dude, calm down. You don't gotta be that humble. Alright, let's we go first. We got the get lost. They're gonna have to get lost. Whatever they play. We also have Baza. It's pretty good. Let's make sure I pop into the mic. 
Hard fire hero. Oh boy. Now they have copper line gorge. Oh, right. this is gonna suck. Is he even on? I don't hear myself talk. Let me hear myself talk, can it? All right, Swiss fear. No pumps. Gotta let it go if he's got no pumps. Citadel uh, in white. I still have a get lost. They have green, so they have protections. Another Swiss spear. Which is Mark? What does this do? Get a roll. Eh. Let you not get a roll. <laughs> Got him. Alright, let's uh found for. Here is Jeff Bezos. Hey, come on. Jeff Bezos. CEO entrepreneur. Coming with a four five body. Yeah, I gave him those map tokens, right? He's definitely gonna pump it on the hardfire hero. Get some monstrous rage. Doesn't want a monstrous rage. Insane. Just insane. Does he want to land? Does it again? If you're gonna do it again, why? Why would you not? I don't understand. Is he cheating? Does he know that there's a land? Is that why he tossed the monster's rage? Come on. That's not fair. Cacophony scam. He didn't attack. Crazy. Let's get our Jeff Bezos in. Four damage. I guess I didn't need to attack there, but I wanted to get that four damage. And then... Say goodbye to Exodia. Come on, why didn't you attack? He's gonna explode. No. Just gonna let me do the 6-6. Six, six. Which is Mark? Doesn't even have a creature. Discard a card, then draw two cards. Discard his turn inside out. Draws into a Swiss Fear. Into a scam. Attack with the Swiss Fear. Coolio. Let's just get rid of this camp, right? Well, he has a green. He might have protection spell. But he's got one car. If that one car is a protection spell, it won't get. It won't help him, right? Maybe I just draw it out. No, he lets that happen. So then we can caretaker's talents. And then we can now, you know, block. Oh, ley line. About to be a pretty big creature here. Didn't attack. He didn't attack. What do I do here? Not sure if I want to use this 6-6. Um, six, six. Do I want to use the 6-6? Six, six? That's a good blocker. And if he really turns it inside out like a million times. I could potentially just hit him, right? Uh, do I want to base it? I don't want to base it here. 
I could potentially hit him with a Sunfall if he gets really big. So having a Beza out there gives me still two mana, so I don't want to do that. He's gonna have to attack. He doesn't attack. He's giving me more time. I'm gonna make a fish. I draw a car. I can sack that fish, but nah. Ooh, another Bezos. Level up to get another fish. I have a pretty big board now. This will leave me with two mana. Well, I think that's fine, right? I have to gain the life first, because if I attack him, then I won't gain the life. Also, four bases. I don't think he can burst 21 damage, so here, take six. Just plus two, plus two, right? So this will be three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. attack he no attacks okay so you want to do it that way I'll show you how it's done sanguine evangelist cool all right if I level this up this is one two three uh, well this is gonna be this is gonna be eight three plus eight is not, uh, three plus eight is not nine three plus eight is eleven this will be lethal if I just level it up. So four mana to level it up, four mana, not enough. Okay, so we'll do it a slow way. He takes all that damage. Well, he thinks he's at his chance because he takes that damage. We're gonna remove his chance. Oh, we have your creature, mono, mono red. We have an evangelist. Believe it. I right, enjoy trying to do 21 damage in one turn. There you go. Get out of here, you. Alright, our opponent is Jahamandudo. Yo, Dudo. Are you red? Uh, it looks like some sort of red deck, right? Uh, we got we got gotta wait to turn three to play stuff. And opponent goes first. I can't afford a mulligan and a hand that has playables. But this is gonna be real bad. I don't know what that sound is. It's like a rotating thing. They're red. Alright, fine. I guess, I guess we'll just quit right away. Don't need to play it out the game. They attack us for like a million. I got two lands that can't do anything. Gotta wait till Jeff Bezos. That's really far from now. Oh, I don't think they have punk. We should got that going for us. Vampires. To the rescue. Not really, but we're gonna try to block. They do have pump spells, that's that's for sure. Alright, we got pump spells. We got block for days. They're probably gonna pump the hardfire hero, right? Not the scam. Creature, they want to fling it at me. All right, almost.
almost dead. This doesn't even give me creatures because of the bats. That's Jeff Bezos, CEO entrepreneur. Another scamp? Yeah, very nice. No attacks. Like zero attack going on over there. Don't think that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have time for a caretaker's talent. So let's fly to the air. And we need all the blockers we need. We can get. Still no attacks. Can't really break any of these with Loran, right? Can I get anything out of this? I cannot. What about talent? Eh, do I need this to block? I might need this to block. Definitely need to hold up my get lost in case he has a damage dealing spell or a pump spell on the scamp base camp. Man, why can't you have artifacts right now? Seriously? Uh, that doesn't pump it, he just draws a card. Prowess, yes, but he draws a card, but nothing else. Fire hero. Oh boy, okay. Well, I draw a car, it's another land. I play another talent. I don't think I can win. There's too many sacrificial spawns out there. Two things coming in. No. Nothing's coming in. Two blinks. I mean, I do have four sunfalls in the deck. It'd be pretty nice to draw any one of them that wins me the game. That's not what's happening right now, but Caracake's pretty bad, or pretty bad, pretty good too. Not bad of a card, get lost. I do want to draw it, right? So I have two get lost that I can use, but that means I can't use the carrot cake. If that's what happens, that's what happens. Yeah, this doesn't give me life until I sacrifice it, so gotta be careful with that. I could have copied a bunny or or a bat that turn. Might have been relevant. Definitely not sacrificing a carrot cake this turn. Or I guess I am because he's my opponent's not doing anything. doesn't want to do anything then I will do the do. That's a lot. That is a lot. Look at my turn here. Ooh, that's a lot of late arms. That just happens. I should have done this first. I always draw first. That was a mistake. See, uh, I get the sunfall and I get a parting gust. This is an instant, right? I get a parting gust. I will attack for four, which takes out my blocker. I 
might be able to get out of this. Oh, 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 oh. She lost. Do that one damage to me. I'm okay with that. that? Does he see all my bats? I guess he doesn't see all my bats. He's gonna make that a 4 or 5. Still can't attack. Ha, ah, GG. Take that, Mono Red. You deserve your death. Alright, our opponent is... The Juice is cool! Uh, is it? Is it now? Is it real cool? Real cool to let me go first. That's folks show. Planks. Oh, hey, that is different. There's a carrot cake. Not a temple. A bunch of carrot cakes. Uh, not against temple. Without the uh, caretaker's talent, the carrot cake's not really that good. I'm gonna attack it. Get the white man in. And then here comes. Uh oh, uh oh. That is not what I wanted to face. All right, this is gonna be a very hard battle because I'm not aggro, and they'll get to they'll get to their freaking ten pretty quickly. So I guess we're gonna have to try to aggro them, not with this. Yeah, poison's definitely the bane of this kind of deck. It's gonna kill my rabbits. It's gonna make me more poison, probably. Takes those damage. I'm not gonna play an L step into this. Pretty sure he has a counter spell like bring the enemy. Also, I've only drawn lands. That was not fun for me. He's got bring the ending, right? That's the perfect mana for that. We're gonna have to bone rush him. Serum snare. Nope. Okay. I guess it's Elspeth. It's still Elspeth this turn. If he just kills a fish, I don't really get much out of it. You shine bright, hero. I'm already at four. Very close to dead. Drown in Ikor? Yeah. Um... So I can draw a card. Not letting you proliferate that. I remember playing this deck. It's really all about reducing the extra proliferate that you can get. He has a lot. I don't know how useful that is. Got it down here, of course. We have five now. They are holding on to their, uh, yeah, they are holding on to their thing. So, if I play Caretaker's Talon, would it get countered? Why would it tap all of my? Wow, freaking fun. Okay. Well, if he counters this, 
No, I played phases, right? No, I played talent. Don't think he's gonna counter the talents. Tapa found the right? I can make a soldier. Serum snare on the talents. It's just a 4-5 beater, but it's a 4-5 beater. I'm at 6, very close to dead. Don't have that much time. Serum snare, okay. He has a lot of serum snares. That's very annoying, not gonna lie. Rask is full. Sakar Elspeth? Thanks, deck. That is more Billy Obese. Not a land. One, two, three as a thumb four, and then one more for caretaker's tower. Oh, we got him! He couldn't get to ten. Yeah, it's about killing the creatures. Uh, our, well, killing, not killing our, killing our creatures to stop their proliferating spell because they have a limited number of that. You stop those, and they run out of tens. Okay, our opponent is Dao Kion. Dao Kion? I don't know. Whatever your name is. Let, let's Kung Fu fight. Wow, what a hand. We go first. Potentially red. Most likely red. This will be great if one of these is a planes. Eh, even, even if one of these are planes. Are they that, is this hand that great? I have lands. Okay, this hand is better. We'll keep six. <sighs> what if we go back? I kind of want all these cards. Get lost. Beza. I guess we'll go back to Fountain Pour. Let's see if I draw land number four in like four turns. Rack those. Of course you will. If only that get losses to lay down on, oh, honestly. Ah, there's that fourth land. One damage. Is that the The plots. Switch our show off. Doesn't even use a slick shot. He plots another slick shot. Kinda had to get lost something, right? I get lost the scamp, I baza. Seventeen. Draw a card thanks to that, and I also gain four life. The Sunken Citadel isn't great. Basil can't block flyer. Oh, well, he's not unloading this turn, which is good for me. What? Dude, that was your trample. Alright, white. Get a carrot cake down, potentially gain three life and save our life. I'm gonna set it up and go away. I don't need the six land. He can't do it again. He wants to just fling it at me. 
Oh, it doesn't. It's four damage. How big can it get? The attacks. Let's sack this for an extra bunny. Pump it, but he can't save it. And if he can save it, then we'll sun fall. Not for a strike. Yeah. Turn inside out. Okay. Manifest a creature. But that was a lot of pump spells gone. I'll take seven, so I'll go down to lower. No, that was, I take nine. That's a lot. Okay, well, let's play this so that we can go on into the car. That happens to be a land. The slick shots are coming. There you are. Yep, they are here. And they got a Swiss here. They got an Adverhard Challenger. Oh, at least there's only one car left. That one's the biggest. Rage. Do I just die? I am at 15. I'm at two now. Hey, but two is not zero, and that is very important. Don't think any of this matters. Well, let's go in for damage. Here. The sun falls on you. I got a five five. Top decking creature. Not top decking creature. That's a mistake. You should always top deck a creature. I am at two. The treasure. That's not real good. Very close to dead here. Mine of the meek. Do I want to let him draw this car? Or do I want to sacrifice this or prevent the draw? I could just win next turn with this attack, right? Oh, that's kind of tricky. It's one one extra draw for him versus one extra draw for me. I got him. We got him good. All that all that plotting red goodness means nothing in the face of our mono white deck. Hey, okay, our opponent is YC Punk. Ah, you little punk. Little Punk's gonna let me go first. We got planes, we got carrot cakes. They got they got old ponies. We'll see what happens. Ah, oh, they're red. I don't want to see what happens anymore. Disgusting. Absolutely barbaric. Okay, that, that is what I want to keep. this deck works. What the hell? What was that about? No idea. Okay. They got the mouse. He knows. He's going to give it a double strike. 
They even got a higher crawl. Yeesh. Okay, well, we got a chump. If they give it trample, they can't play their higher claw. That's pretty good. They do give it trample, so it's gonna be a lot of damage, right? Oh, I'm down a six? That was a lot of damage for sure. Okay. Um, now it has trample. I definitely can't let it have trample, right? We gotta kill this. Absolutely degenerate. Double strike that you get a land. Ah, okay. Just all in attack. Oh, that makes sense, right? That's what you normally would do. It's probably got more trampling cards. Strike face. But I'm not dead. I get a 1 1. I draw a land. I don't draw a land, but I do draw Jeff Bezos. So that saves me for a turn. I don't get a treasure, but I get two fish. Challenger? Which one does he target? Itself? Whoa. Which stalker friendly? Alright. Well, the blocks are going to be pretty obvious here. Oh, come on. That's just not fair. Tap land. If this land wasn't tapped, you could have gotten him. I guess I can hope that he top deck the land. Can I block four damage? Double strike blocks one of the double strikes, so one, two, three, four. Not quite able to block four damage. himself again? No, of course not. Okay, I, I can hope that both of those are lands. That would be pretty useful. So I gotta block the double striker and block the prowess. Wow, really? Hey! We got all of that alive, for now. Wow, hey, you know, we might be able to get somewhere with this. Go Jeff Bezos, give me some life. Probably wasn't even the best play, I just needed to gain some life. Which stock is the Oh, that was nothing. Do we do the Archangel? Uh, this is a carrot cake. That way we can fix our draw a little bit more? Maybe. Late arm is not bad. Okay. Get another 1-1. One, one. Later on, again, like I said, it's not bad. And we'll get this 4-4 four, four out. He will be an important blocker. In our plan for world dominance. Here's Archangel. Now let's get the lifelink going on. 
Haha, <laughs> we got him. We beat another Mono Red. No matter what you do, Mono Red needs to get beaten down by the power of the Mono White control. Welcome back, everyone. Now that you've seen all of those games, and I mean all of those games, how did it feel? Huh? I have I've shown every game that I played. Every single one of them was against some red aggro deck. My god, that was painful to play, painful to watch, but very satisfying because we beat all of them. So yeah, it was painful because I hate what magic has turned into because of wizard's poor decisions. And now everybody is just playing mono red and try to fling that stupid rat. Oh, we got laid on arms, we got get lost. We got a lot of ways to stop that. Sunfall definitely made them cry a little bit. And the whole deck just beats Mono Red. Very easy. That's, okay, none of those decks were actually Mono Red. There were, there were a few uh, Rakdos, there were a few Gruul, uh, and there was, a f there was one Boros, I think. It doesn't matter, but the, it's all centered around that red card, uh, the red rat, and then the red scamp, which both of, them, both of them should be banned, honestly. But here we are. Make sure you have turn 1, turn 2 removal in the current standard meta and you will be able to kill every single opponent very easily. That's the whole idea. We never actually see Endurance Innocence do anything in any of the games because we couldn't last that long, right? It was just about killing them with a little 1-1. One, one. Actually, I think I was fighting one that was uh, not a mono red. Uh, it was a... Uh, what is that called? A toxic deck, right? There was one toxic deck kind of slotted in there, but we beat that toxic deck by using the carrot cake one ones. We just kind of hit them with one ones until they couldn't take it anymore. And by the time we land our bases as a four five, it was a big beast stick that was gonna kill them. So the whole deck is, uh, I, I think it's a pretty good sort of a um, current version of control against standard. It does kill all the aggro decks fairly handily and you have to learn how to play. So this deck is definitely not something that you can just uh, queue up and win games. You have to learn how to play the deck. Know when to push the aggro. Know when to hold up your control. Know what to mulligan into and that is uh, still a good part of magic that I like. Everything else is just about fighting aggros and making sure that you can last turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. If you can live to turn 4, which a lot of times we live to turn 4, we win the game. Landing base again is life, for uh, Sunfall kills their whole board, or exiles their whole board, and now we can just start attacking with our little 1-1 one, one creatures and uh, wait till they inevitably quit. We never even deal lethal damage. All our opponent just are cowards and they quit. So that's the whole idea. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.